Jesus. Oh, no. Hey. What? I just got annoyed by this beeping sound. That was me, snakes. That was you? Oh, it was you. No wonder you're called that. What'd you beep the alarm for? I had to tell everyone to get out of my way or I'll beat ya. Senseless. You're gonna beat them senseless? Yeah, he's gonna beat them up for making no sense. Larry, that has nothing to do with you. I'm telling you, I was driving the kids to school and drove back here to the bar. Oh no! Shut up! Scene, toasters, the whole gang is there. Sorry guys, I was getting all bent out of shape. Bent out of shape? Why don't you bend yourself back into a different shape? Like, say, the triangle. Larry, what I meant was I was going crazy over being annoyed. I'm annoyed, too. Me, too. Me, too. We're all four annoyeds. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off! What I meant was I was overwhelmed by the sound of backup beeps. Why? Because they're so annoying that... La, 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 Nate, shut up! Nathan, shh! Come on, Steve. I want to know why. Because they're so annoying that they... How annoying are they? They're so annoying that they penetrate and eat away at my la 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 stop it la 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 whoop there it is knock it off la 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 snake stop hissing in my ear quit mopping my hair guys they eat away at my mind, body, and soul. They eat away at you? Maybe they're hungry. They want to make a messy Steve burger out of you. Nate! With extra ketchup, mustard, pickle, and onion. Nate! Don't forget mayo, tomato, and lettuce. And peanut butter. Stop it, guys! Donna, they penetrate me so badly it makes me go bananas. Bananas? I love bananas. They're a good source of potassium. I'm not talking about that, you dirty slob. It makes me slap myself in the head and force everything and ruin myself. Well, don't do that, Steve. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, where are you going? Coming to get you? Wow, shock me, shock me. One hour later. Steve, Steve. This is the men's room. You want the ladies room, go to the other room. Steve, please, can I talk to you for a moment? All right. Sorry I was overwhelmed by the sirens. Why, were they coming to get you? Did you rob someone? Did you steal anything? Guys, Donna, the sound of sirens penetrates my inner music. Steve, you need to calm down. You need to... Music? We'll handle this. Oh, Steve Monroe had a bar. E-I-E-I-O, and in his bar he had some beer. E-I-E-I-O, with a burp burp here and a burp burp there. Here a burp, there a burp, everywhere a burp burp. Steve Monroe had a bar. E-I-E-I-O, oh my God. Those annoying noises really 
penetrate my mind so badly. So what? Don't so what me. I'm trying to find a way to find my music and all my good things inside me, okay? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh no! Wait, 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 Steve! Scene. Toasters. Cap is bartending. Steve is playing the piano at the piano room. Steve! Donna? Could you please come back here? What is it? I know you get overwhelmed, but hear me out here. He gets overwhelmed? Steve gets overwhelmed. Steve gets overwhelmed. Steve gets overwhelmed. Stop it! Look. If something is bothering you, then you should just talk to us about it. Yeah. I really do get overwhelmed by sirens and backup beeps. Oh, no. Steve! I get overwhelmed by slamming noises and stuff like that. I feel that it penetrates the drum sound of my ladies' band music. You need to see a therapist right away. My name is Crocker, and I need something to drink. Oh, no. Shh. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Say it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Now come on back. Come on. That's it. I would like a Bloody Mary. Oh no. What now? I'm getting overwhelmed again. See, Cap, that's what bothers me. What? That sad sack overwhelms me. Oh jeez, not again. I can't take this. Me neither. I can't take this anymore. It is overwhelms me. Overwhelm me. I get overwhelmed. I get Guys, overwhelmed stop it. Much. Okay. Five bucks. Take the Bloody Mary and go. All right, now get out of here. Now look what you did, Steve. What? You scared Crocker away. Don't you have any manners? Manners? I get overwhelmed and I'm trying to find my inner music and inner flows. I already lost my wife for crying out loud. So? Don't soul me. That's not good for my loss. I'm trying to find the good things I have inside me. <laughs> No, I'm getting annoyed. Beep, 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 beep. Stop it. Stop. God, you're annoying me. You know what, Steve? You scare me. I can't take this anymore. I need to go back upstairs to my bedroom for a while. Congratulations, Steve. You just scared snakes away. Can't you see I'm very irritated right now? Why can't you not be irritated? Go, go. Oh, man. What, is he afraid of the fountain now? Excuse me while I clean this puddle up. Does so. Snake's house. Snake's is in his bedroom, lying down. I can't take the irritation anymore either. I am more annoyed than S Steve is. I get very annoyed by him being annoyed. Biff? Not now. I'm tired. Biff? Not now, Mom. Biff, what are you doing? I'm lying down. 
I don't feel good. What's wrong? I got scared away by Steve. Why? Did he scare you in any way? Him being annoyed and overwhelmed really drove me up here. Would you like a cup of tea? Ooh, I'll go for that, please. Therapist's office. Steve is there talking to a therapist. Now, what's bothering you now? Sirens, backup beeps, loud mirrorless conversations, reverberating noises, and slamming noises, stuff like that. It makes me rage off and makes me hit myself in the head and take myself too hard and I have wrong stuff. I'm trying to get my right flows, my inner music and drum sounds for my laid main music. I get overwhelmed and the sirens and backup beeps really eat away my mind, body and soul. I lose my flows. I'm losing it here. Okay, first close your eyes and hold your hand like this and inhale deeply. Then exhale as you close your hand and say, peace and then do the same breathing routine and say be still and then i'm okay and also imagine yourself in the rainforest where all the animals are there the seagulls the wolves the bears rolling around birds chirping okay here we go i'm in the rainforest the birds are chirping Seagulls are calling, the wolves, the bears rolling around. Now, how do you feel? A little better. But also, I'm trying to find a way to find happiness. As I just lost my wife, Doris, at the movie theater. She died there. This was the last time I ever went with her. Yes, I know how you feel. Although my friend Nate tried to get me to move on with my life, can't seem to go on without my late wife. I'm feeling the pain right now. It's eating my heart out. I'm gonna go the wrong directions. I wanna turn around and go back the right direction. Well, that is not gonna bring your wife back to life, Steve. I know it's gonna sound real pushy and overpowering, but your friend Nate is right. You have to move on now that your wife is gone. I know it hurts, but you have to deal with the sadness. You can always have good memories of your wife, though. If the blues get you down, then think good memories. You're right. But you're also going to need to find someone new, like... Like who? Donna? Donna Quarters? Oh, you mean the woman I left at the altar? Wait a minute. You're Frederick Heron. You're the therapist Frederick Heron that left Donna at the altar. Well, I knew I blew it. I know you would be better in love with her than I was. Well, thanks for the big advice. And for that, I'm wondering if you'd like to come over to... Posters. The whole gang is there. Plus, Frederick Heron. Toasters, Frederick. That's the name of the bar. Another beer, Nathan? Sure. So, Frederick, what is your favorite baseball team? Chicago Cubs, White Sox, Red Sox, or Filthy Sox? All right, put your feet down. I don't want to see or smell that. I'm a Cubs fan. That's Nate Patterson. And this is Larry and Snakes. Guys, this is Frederick. Hello, gentlemen. So I guess he is no longer annoyed anymore, huh? Guess not, but take the nerd's word for it. I still miss my wife, though. Hello, gentlemen. Steve, how are you feeling? Hey, Donna. Feeling better, I guess. Hello, Donna. You look well. Shock me, shock me. 